Fox News alert moments ago. You heard it from Catherine Herridge, the FBI releasing a, a set of documents believed to be connected to the investigation to Hillary Clinton's server. Uh, some Republicans believe that those documents show discussions of a quid pro quo between senior State Department official Patrick Kennedy and the FBI. Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Anna Napolitano with me now. And Judge, good morning to you. Morning, Bill. Essentially, Essentially, the allegation is this. If you go ahead and change the classification of certain emails, um, we could provide jobs for people who might want them uh, down the road overseas. Uh, the FBI has denied this. Catherine Harris, 20 minutes ago, came out with new information. Where does this story at the moment stand, Judge? At the moment, the story stands that there is evidence, strong evidence to believe that Mrs. Clinton's, one of her senior aides from the State Department, Patrick Kennedy, offered a bribe to an FBI agent or a group of FBI agents to change the classified markings on documents after they had been subpoenaed and after they had been uh, surrendered. And in return for that change, offered or suggested the availability, you know, these bribe offers are never that precise, they're not in, they're not in writing, but offered the availability of cushy overseas assignments for FBI agents. Mr. Kennedy has denied this emphatically. The FBI's own records are ambiguous as to whether or not he actually said this. A 302, an FBI memorandum written by an FBI agent says he offered it and we rejected it. Some of the uh, emails now say he never even offered it. But look, something like this, I've never seen this in my uh, career, Bill, where an, really? an effort is made to change a document after it is evidence in a criminal prosecution. That's obstruction of justice. That's tampering with, uh, with evidence. That's offering a bribe. Why wasn't somebody charged with these crimes by the FBI? Instead, we okay, learn about now, so, this. So, Judge, yeah, so just we're clear on this. The FBI says no one was given anything in return. Is it a crime to merely suggest the possibility? Of course it is. It's the offer of a bribe. It's, the, it's an attempted bribe. It's an attempt to alter evidence. Look, there are often intra-agency discussions about whether a document should be marked secret or top secret. Uh, these happen every day because the lines between secret and top secret can be vague. And you may want to reduce the marking so that more people who need to see it can see it. But you can't do this after it's been subpoenaed and after it's evidence in a case. That's tampering with evidence, and that's what it appears Mr. Kennedy attempted to do. All right, one last point here. Jason Chaffetz said this over the weekend on screen for your viewers, quoting, in return for altering the classification, the possibility of additional slots for the FBI admissions overseas was discussed, end quote. But the mere discussion of that is what you find offensive. Last word, Judge. The mere discussion of it is itself a crime. It is a crime to bribe someone. It is a crime to offer to bribe someone. This was at best a bribe and at worst an offer to bribe. Thank you, sir. Andrew DiPolitano back in New York. Thanks, Mark.